So I have everything laid out here that you can expect to bring with you to MEPS. Let me just talk to the shoes, specifically gym shoes. Don't wear flip-flops or sandals or women. Don't wear high heels. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. They don't care and they're not gonna be impressed. Just wear normal gym shoes. Also, make sure you wear socks with them. You're gonna be doing a lot of examinations where they're gonna ask you to get undressed, get redressed, and they may even disqualify you if they see you without socks, okay? This is the same policy with underwear. Boxers or briefs, it doesn't matter. For women, no thongs, just keep it simple. I recommend pants, not shorts, shirt, just keep it a simple setup and a belt, obviously. You don't wanna be sagging your pants and stuff like that. They, no joke, they may disqualify you if you just appear to be sloppy. You're going to want to make sure you bring your toothbrush and toothpaste. This is gonna be mandatory. Don't be one of those slobs that doesn't brush your teeth. The floss is optional and the mouthwash is optional. That's just part of my nightly and morning routine. Same thing with shaving. It's not necessary to be clean shaven, but it is part of my routine. So I just felt more comfortable if I had my items there with me. Also with hygiene, you wanna make sure to bring deodorant. This is not really necessary. I just like to be prepared and I hate not having a pen with me. And you're gonna be filling out a lot of paperwork. So it is just helpful to bring a pen with you. And lastly, coming over here, this is just a bonus. You don't really need these. However, this is highly recommended. There were people getting disqualified because they weren't cleaning their ears. So if you bring some extra with you, then you won't have to worry about if you're going to, or if you forgot, or the gift shop isn't open so you can't buy any other hygiene products. Make sure you bring all these little things with you so that way you won't have a problem at MAPS and you'll be able to pass it no problem. You also don't want to come off like you don't take care of yourself because they will look for any reason to disqualify you. This is just a placement marker for me to remind me to say to bring your phone because I'm shooting this video with my phone. So make sure you bring your phone, keys, and your wallet. Do not bring a clipboard. This is just to remind me to remind you guys to bring your paperwork. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff that you're gonna have to let the Air Force liaison know. And you wanna make sure that you remember to bring all of your paperwork. So talk to your recruiter, make sure you have everything on their checklist, and don't forget any paperwork. You don't wanna to have to come back and do all this all over again. You have your backpack here, or a gym bag. I recommend the gym bag, because you wanna be as lightweight and low profile as possible. There's no reason to bring this big bulky bag for just the essentials. You are going to be there most of the day, at least six to 10 hours. So I just recommend the gym bag. Hey there, hope this video helped on what to pack when you're going to MAPS. I wanna leave you with five more tips on how to have a successful time at MAPS to make sure you get in and get out in one trip. So the first thing is to make sure you go to bed early. You're gonna have a super early wake up call, like 3.45. So after you get your mandatory brief at around 8 p.m., make sure you get your free dinner and then go to bed right away. The second tip to make sure you have a successful time at MEPS is to make sure you take advantage of breakfast in the morning. Breakfast is gonna be crucial, especially since you probably won't get a lunch until about noon or even around 1 p.m. In addition to that, when you're giving blood, you wanna make sure that you do it on a full stomach. If you're giving blood and you're on an empty stomach, you are almost guaranteed to pass out, which is not something you want to happen at MEPS. Third tip is to not miss the brief. There's gonna be a mandatory brief where they go over the rules of the hotel, what you can and can't do for your time at the hotel and for MEPS, what to do if you decide it's not for you because you're not obligated to go to the MEPS. You don't necessarily have to do any of this stuff. You do if you want to enlist, but if you decide, you know what, I don't wanna do this, you still have that option. So they're gonna go over the rules you need to know if you happen to make that decision. My fourth tip is to make sure you set an extra alarm. They're gonna come around and ask you what time you wanna be woken up. Now, this alarm does help and it will wake you up, but you want to make sure you're up and you wanna get up early. They'll call you to wake you up, but they're not gonna come get you. You wanna make sure that you wake yourself up. So set an alarm, set a backup alarm. You do not wanna be late and you do not wanna miss your time at MAPS. The fifth tip for being successful at MAPS is to remember this, guys. Do not get caught in the opposite sex's room. Do not get caught on their floor. Do not get caught near them. Do not get caught talking to them. Just keep it real neutral. Keep a casual conversation and I can guarantee you'll be okay. Hey, thank you for your time. I have some other videos I want you guys to check out. If you have an extra couple minutes, go ahead and check out some of my videos here and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.